Johor needs to collaborate with the federal government to ensure the success of its plan for selected schools to focus on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, says an educationist. This follows Johor Menteri Besar On Hafiz Ghazi's announcement that the state plans to designate two primary and two secondary schools to focus on STEM subjects and English in a pilot project. Association of Science, Technology and Innovation President Yunus Yassin said, for Johor's plan to be effective at a macro level, the education ministry might need to review how the education system is structured and consider decentralizing it. He pointed out that Malaysia's education system is currently centralized under the ministry, unlike in the U.S., where each state and district within a state can introduce its own syllabus. Yunus said Johor may struggle to scale up the program given its likely high costs and will need to ensure it had enough capable teachers. Meanwhile, Parent Action Group for Education Chairman Nur Azima Rahim believed the program will help generate a highly skilled workforce in Johor. She said students of these schools stand to gain an edge in job marketability and lead in scientific and engineering advancements after graduating. <laughs>